I'm Ava Perrine, and today I'm welcoming my new co-producer, new co-host, Tavarius Williams, uh, to the planet. Hey, Tavarius. How you doing? I'm just fantastic. So you want to share a little bit about who you are? Yes. My name is Tavarius. I'm from Philadelphia, PA. I go to Delaware State University. I am a graduating senior this semester. Um, my major is mass communication with the concentration of digital media. And I work with filming and I do music videos, advertisements, flyers. I basically do everything involving around music and media. Awesome. Well, I want to give you a big whoop, 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 whoop. graduating senior. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Tavarius and I, you, if, if you'll notice a pattern, of course, with Planet Ava, uh, I work with all these really excellently talented young people. And so, um, you know, they work with me on the podcast, and that's awesome. If you'll rec uh, recall my fabulous uh, former uh, co-producer, uh, co-host, <laughs> Jared Jeffrey. And so Jared, uh, as you recall, was a bio pre-med major, and he is now, uh, he graduated. And um, so now he's, uh, he's, he's working um, toward his, uh, his degree as, as a medical doctor. And so perhaps we can get Jared at some point to uh to to come back and join us on the planet or whatever but he's busy doing what uh what med students do uh kind of deal actually he's working in a couple of labs from what i gather now he's uh he's going to be applying for med school and everything so we need to send jared all the positive vibes that we possibly can um so now we have uh the fabulousness that is tavarius and he's going to be holding things down uh, uh, with me on Planet Ava uh, for a few months until graduation and so forth. And we'll see how the thing goes. Okay, so Tavarius, um, I got my, my Moderna shot today. So I have my first, uh, I've had my first uh, uh, vaccination. Yes. How did everything go? Uh, well, th so far, so good. Um I, uh, we went to the local, uh, the nearby, um, senior center and, uh, <laughs> kind of deal. And, um, my hubby and I both got our shots today and it went like clockwork. Everyone, I really have to thank, um, all of the, the folks who volunteer, uh, for these kinds of activities because, you know, the potentially they're putting themselves in harm's way. I'm assuming that the volunteers have been vaccinated and all of that, but, the, there's still a lot uh, that that has to go on in terms of coordination and all of that. So, so kudos to all of the volunteers all over the world, really, who um, are helping to do various things for for the you know various folks, all of us on behalf of humankind. Um, but especially those folks uh, today who were putting up with all of us, uh, other senior citizens at the Modern Maturity Center. Okay, so. Uh, have you had your shot? Uh, no. Oh, 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 oh. So, what you waiting for? Um, I, I honestly, I don't plan on getting it. Honestly, oh. it's just, it's just a theory in my head that I believe, and I just don't, I don't want to get it. Okay, well, we're not going to. <laughs> this is not going to be the platform for me to convince you one way or the other. Um, you're going to do what you need to do and um, to stay safe and hopefully to uh, keep others uh, safe. But you might want to you might want to rethink it. But, you know, then again, it's up to you. Um, so what else? What's going on in your life as you as you move toward uh, commencement? Well, as I move towards commencement, what's going on in my life right now is. I'm actually trying to start another business, get another business going so I can have two businesses before I graduate uh -huh. and at least have three before the summer start. Okay. And my, my next business that I want to start is actually I want to make a um a vending machine. Because I heard just small business with vending machine brings in a lot of money and it's consistent. So I was mm -hmm. thinking of putting vending machines in music studios. Oh, <laughs> now that's an interesting thing to do. Um. I, um, 
What what made you think of that actually? I think of that because my past experience. Uh, one of my friends by the name of uh, Zao Sosa actually uh had blew up in like 2017, 18, and we would be in the studio almost every other night, and we would get like frustrated that we would have to leave the studio just to go all the way to the gas station or to the Wawa's that was open at like three o'clock in the morning. So I was thinking that maybe if I could put a vending machine inside studios that saved the time for rappers. You know what? I, that, that sounds like a, a brilliant idea. Um, I did have the opportunity to, to sit in on some sessions actually myself. Um, uh, a friend of ours, um, uh, has a, has a, you know, a band or at least she had it at the time. And, um, so this was in New York and I happened to, excuse me, be visiting her this one weekend and they were going into rehearsals. So at one o'clock in the morning, there we were in the studio and it was a cool experience, but you're right. It was, it was the wee hours of the morning and, uh, studio uh, space is extremely expensive, isn't it? Yes. And so if you've got to, um, <laughs> if you got to leave in order to, you know, get some sort of uh, nourishment that, that would eat up time. Of course, the other thing is folks could, <laughs> could uh, just take snacks, you know, if you know you're going to be in there. But, you know, I can imagine uh, uh, basically a bunch of musicians are not going to be thinking about, um, you know, having a picnic hamper or whatever that that would be for something like something like for someone such as myself uh, to think of. But um, yeah, that's a cool that's a cool idea. So, what kinds of vending machines are you thinking about? Uh, the type of vending machines I was thinking about, I was thinking about tobacco and snacks at the same time. So the the brand of the name was going to be Snacks and Wraps, and I was thinking of that because. When a lot of rappers go to the studio, they smoke a lot in the studio. So I was thinking if I put tobacco products in the vending machine, that it saved them time from having to store. Or having them to say if they buy tobacco products and the product is not as good as they want it to be, they can go to the vending machine and buy another one. And this is something that a lot of rappers deal with. Because when we go to the studios in New York, the tobacco products will be higher like mm-hmm. higher than they are in Philadelphia. And that'd be a problem right. with us because then we had just think like, okay, let's grab as many tobacco products as we can before we go to New York. I see. I got you. Okay. All right. Well, um you're uh you're getting your your plan together and all of this other good stuff and it sounds like it's uh real really well thought out uh kind of deal. So it'll be interesting um to as as you move along toward the toward commencement and all of that for us to to talk about it and hear hear what your plans are that's really cool um i i'm not even gonna say anything about the tobacco products oh my goodness <laughs> so no vaccine and you're pushing doggone nicotine oh my gosh not well <laughs> not in a not in a bad way i mean <laughs> Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I mean, it's just like, it's just, I look at it as just a cell, like, not in a bad way. <laughs> well, um, you may not realize this, and, and this is something that our, a bless them, our, our audience is going to know. I mean, it, it is what it is, but I am going to tease you, and you can tease me, so uh, it's okay. Um, you don't know me as well as, as Jared did, so you might not feel as comfortable as at first but <laughs> i guarantee uh if i throw enough shade at you you'll be throwing some at me a little bit <laughs> okay so well listen um i'm i'm super hyped about this dog going uh shot I, and i will share this with you uh, initially i was not keen uh before all you know before all of the rollout of all of the different you know, the different vaccines, all of the, I I guess we have like three right now, but at least in America, but, um, I was concerned. I'm going to be honest with you. Now I am pro vaccination, um, because I mean, after all, 
uh, uh, polio and, and all these other things, you do need, you know,